Space Tube Dwellers, and welcome back to Space Base! Construction of the pub is coming along nicely. I actually moved it up in the priority queue for what to build next. And you know what? There's one object still missing from that there pub. Our good old safety fire extinguisher that we're going to have in every room. There's been an update to the Space Base Alpha. I think it was a small one. You'll notice uh, this dude in the spacesuit behind the base. He looks kind of small right now. And then he gets bigger! Uh, models are now made smaller when they're behind the base. Just to make it a little bit more obvious what's going on. Not a big change, but it's just cool to see. Continuous improvement. The bar is in and up. Should I designate a bartender? I only have four individuals. Let's do it. I don't need Steph on builder duty. Let's have a bartender. I think that's something I failed to do in the last base. I don't think I ever actually designated a bartender. So which one? This is the one that's Steph, right? She's talking about bands. Steph 0046503. Robotic bartender. At your service. Serving drinks. Interesting. I wonder if I put that bar in backwards. There's only two different ways you can put it. I'm not sure that's the right way. Uh, of course, the other way would have, I guess, put the back up against that wall. Maybe that would have been preferable. So I've got four citizens, only three beds. I've still caught uh, Pietro. Who, who was it? Who was it that was sleeping on the floor recently? Somebody's been sleeping on the floor. Huh. I do not recall. Oh, it is him. Look, I just left some drool in the hallway after having to sleep on the floor. I hope someone slips on it. And now here he is sleeping in a bed. So it all just depends on whether or not the beds are open when they want to sleep. Ah, never mind. I don't know what it depends on. Petro just uh, not not digging the bed right now. He's gonna lay down on the floor. I think I'm gonna install some more beds next. Uh, I need to make sure I have a miner. Do I still have a miner? I do still have a miner. Petro, he's probably not real happy about mining. Uh, I could take the builder off. Let's put you on technician duty and put our technician over to mining. And then let's designate a new chunk. Sure. That looks fine. Surprisingly enough, only having one technician, I haven't had anything, to my knowledge, drop below 50% condition yet. Uh, but it could be that I just haven't had this stuff around for very long. You know, I'm tempted to use builders to demolish and reconstruct certain, uh, certain bits of my base whenever it gets uh, continually low. Like, I know eventually it'll get to where these things are staying at like 30%, and the technicians can't can't keep them above 30%. So that occurs to me as a possible solution to that uh, perpetual low grade, low condition. Maybe we'll just replace them. Sounds viable. We are getting kind of low on matter, but that's alright. That means that I've been balancing the time expenditure of my people pretty accurately between the various tasks to uh, get stuff up in a timely manner while not unnecessarily banking matter. Do need to pick some more matter up now, though. I think it's going to take about 500 matter or so to make another room this exact same size that I can use. How did your builder skill increase while you are sleeping? Huh. Well, I guess uh, I guess muscle memory is technically developed while you sleep. If you take a nap shortly after performing any kind of skilled activity, uh, supposedly you'll actually learn that skilled activity a little bit better. I don't know how much accuracy there is to it, but uh, it does occasionally drive me to nap after StarCraft. <laughs> uh, more so, it probably drives me to play StarCraft before I go to sleep. I'm not much the napper. Speed up some of these mining operations a little bit. We only have one builder right now. I'm tempted to take my bartender off bartending duty. Uh, actually, we don't have a builder right now. No builders whatsoever. So uh, maybe we'll switch Petro. I don't want to keep Petro on the same duty that he's bad at for too long because I don't want him to get sad. Matter of fact, I need to check in on him. He's the one out here mining. I'm really going to throw myself into my new job. He's been playing a lot of games lately. Uh, waking up on the floor sucks. <laughs> waking up on the floor pretty much guarantees that it'll be a garbage day. I feel for you, Mr. Carino. It's hard to sleep on the floor. 
Well, we're gonna try to fix that for you, buddy. I don't want you sleeping on the floor any more than you have to. So, we're gonna do some things here, eventually. To get you some better sleeping conditions. If I get six beds, then surely nobody will ever sleep on the floor. At least until I've got seven people, right? Oh! Talk about more people. Unidentified in an immigration shuttle. Please help, we have a system virus on our ship. It pops up ads over our star, star map software. Of course, I will take you guys aboard. No questions asked, come on in. Another Bonnie, wait a second, hold on. Oh, we've got two Bonnies. We now have, we now have two separate Bonnie bots. Uh, this is awkward. A three star bartender, wow, did we just get, did we just get a full time bartender? Go be a bartender, Bonnie. I'm sure you'll probably love that, won't you? I think we got pretty much everything else under control. You know, I say that as we've got some conditions plummeting. Maybe I will just uh, exercise my new solution to this situation. It's weird that the signs have condition. Do people, like, go use the signs? Do they walk up to the burger sign to acquire desire for the burger and then go over to the bar to order it? I don't understand. The Sleepy Kitty is the name of that bar. Interesting. This thing was just down at like 50%. Uh, no wait, that's auction I'm looking at, sorry. No, the condition is still at 55%. My bad! I was getting ready to congratulate one of my technicians for doing some amazing work, but no. That seems not to be the case. Uh, can I spare another technician? I guess I could take Bonnie out of the bar. Let's just keep him on Builder. A matter of fact, uh, Mr. Carino just got really good at building, so maybe he'll be happy about building. His mood is happy right at the moment. Morale is ecstatic. Wow. That's really, that's really impressive. Pretty good at jumping jacks. <laughs> Thinks she'd do well in a jumping jack competition. That's... Taking the gold and jumping jacks. What, what does competitive jumping jacking look like? sounds like something totally different. It's funny how nobody knows they snore until somebody tells them, why can't you hear your own snores? They're just too deep in your dreams. Wait, no, no, not refinery. Uh, residence. Yeah. I'm trying to get these hotkeys down. Getting them. Slowly but surely getting them. More beds for our now five people. And I think very soon... Uh, you know, I'm thinking... We've got some oxygen recyclers getting really low. We're a little bit low on matter. Not really to a degree that concerns me yet. But I'm thinking I want to build a new oxygen recycler room. And I want to establish a new one and then take out one of the old ones and then rebuild it. Just so I've always got two in operation and there's no point in time in which I demolish one and then rebuild it. Even if that's going to happen quickly, uh, I just, I don't know. That seems like a fail safe uh, potential issue. Let's just not do it. Katrina, becoming a better miner. Uh, is that, wait, is that, is that four? No, okay, that's just three. So we got a couple level three miners, that's good. I feel like we have a good dispersion of level three people, such that I think I'll be able to keep people on a task that they like. I'll be able to keep people happy, just in uh, doing things that they're good at. I hope we have enough builders, though, to get this this laid out before those plans just disappear and cost me their their matter. It does kind of suck pretty bad how that uh, how that works. Four seconds ago, Carino got better. Hold on, was that? Maybe I've had it, had it paused for a while. Yeah, no, that's still just level three. He didn't go up to level four builder yet. That would be crazy fast. Auction recycler, it's damaged. Yeah, see, both my auction recyclers are getting really low. I think I'm I'm almost perfectly on time here for getting this new one established. I'm going to give it just a second before I lay down these orders because I want my my builders to come in and finish up that residence. First and foremost, I guess we could give them a little haste in accomplishing that goal. Crino's been working for a while. He's going to go get a drink at the Sleepy Kitty. And Steph's gonna work out before finishing the beds up. Are you gonna go build the beds? It'd be really cool if you went and built the beds. Yeah, there you go. Getting new beds. Now I feel safe uh, laying down 
residents are. No, no, no. What am I doing? I'm getting distracted. We need a life support. Auction recycler. Oh yeah, all beds up. Six beds now, five people. We have an unused bed, that's beautiful. And now we have a new auction recycler up, so uh, which one's lowest? We got a 23% and a 43%. Let's go ahead and demolish the 23%. Confirm. And a matter of fact, uh, before I get myself in a dangerous position, let's get a fire extinguisher back up in our new auction recycler room. Would hate to fudge that up. So I, I don't know really what I'm doing different. I think I'm keeping people on jobs that they're good at a little bit more reliably than I was before. Uh, oh boy, a space bus. Hold the phone. Space bus R4D. No starship information. Hey there, how you doing, eh? We're just shuttling past your base and figured we'd stop by and give you dudes a shout. Looks like you got a pretty sweet base there. Nice going. We'd be happy to pitch in and help you guys get some chores done if we could crash for a while. What do you say? If not, no biggie. Uh, you know, he says we. It might only be one person. If it's two people, I need to make some modifications very quickly. I think I'm gonna do it, though. That's just what we're looking for in this base. Welcome aboard! Far out! Yeah, we'll just gather up our stuff and hover on over there in a second. One? Two people? Two people? We did get two people. Uh, what do we have here? We've got... Bin? Yilmaz and Kevin Erdogan. Okay, uh, what are you guys good at? I guess Kevin can go straight to technician duty. Either that or he could relieve the bartender and she could go be a technician. Let's leave her on the bartender. She's probably gonna level up for terribly long because she's been tending bar for a while. Uh, and I guess we could use a third builder, especially since we're gonna kind of use... Um, let's actually switch some of these around. Let's leave Kevin on mining duty and let's take Katrina to technician. Uh, let's use a third builder though because we're going to kind of be wiping things out more than repairing things so I think we'll need to keep the builders and maybe with that with that logic you know what stay on minor duty let's just get more matter let's just burn through matter a little faster and not really repair things is that the American way I feel like that's the American way to do things and we can uh, we can go ahead and get another auction recycler back up here to help support the additional people we are getting ready to lose auction and we've got the matter. I guess we can go ahead and add on another, uh, another big long bunk. You know, doing it over here would let me keep the distance uh, equally, easily. Seven? Is it seven? I think it's seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to go out of here. Is that enough for three space beds? That's enough for three space beds. Gonna do it. Is that lined up? Oh my god. I feel like I may actually be building a viable base here. Does it look like it looks pretty reliably like a like a cube? I mean this this whole corner bar thing. I like my space management is what I'm trying to say. It feels good. I'm doing good guys. Look at the morale. You know what that's something I want to check and I think I need to pause it and go check everybody out just so they're not walking around. Kinda happy. Bonnie is kinda happy. Steph seems awesome gonna get along great she just knows it some days doing bartender duty is the best thing in the galaxy or she feels like she should be doing something else what do I have Bonnie on Bonnie's still a bartender hmm could I make her more happy by giving her a new job we do have another three-star bartender let's do it let's just swap them around let's see if we can keep the happy up neutral mr. bin I'm here now what I guess we'll give him some time to assimilate and see how he feels later Kinda happy, Kevin. I don't know any of these people. This feels really awkward. When you're well rested, you just feel like you got superpowers. You know what I mean? I hope you are able to stay well rested, Mr. Kevin, and I hope you get to know all of our people. So nobody's angry, nobody's sad or depressed. Nobody's in a way that's going to uh, uh, cause them to start fires, I hope. I suppose we'll see. Bonnie, technician skill, wait a second. All my technicians were like level three before. Oh, huh, that's odd. That makes me think that she just went up to a level 4 technician, but she didn't. Is 3 star as high as it goes? Is there such... There is such thing as 4 star. I remember from a previous episode. 4 stars are possible. I would love to get me some 4 star. Bits of skilled labor. What? Building outside? How are you... You're not building outside. Don't tell me that stuff. I think when they go behind the base, their animations aren't quite worked out yet. They do get smaller. 
but they don't uh, they don't animate correctly. Oh well, the game is still an alpha. And about that, uh, I was thinking the other day, something I haven't said in an episode that I probably should. This game is like $25 right now. That's a lot for what's in this game. I mean, if you just go look at the object list, it's there's not necessarily a lot of stuff here, you know? There's very small amounts of stuff. And I haven't seen anything unlock yet, so I'm thinking that doesn't happen. And there's some things that aren't even implemented yet. The fusion reactor doesn't really do anything yet. Um, I haven't tried to dress her in a rug, but I have a feeling they don't really do anything, kind of like these signs. Uh, I'm not sure I can recommend buying this game yet. If you think, or I should say, if you are certain that this is the type of game that you will come to like, then maybe it's worth investing in it just for the sake of giving the developers a little bit of extra capital to uh, develop a little bit more reliably or consistently or speedily. Maybe it's worth going ahead and picking it up now, but if, if, if you're just kind of, uh, I don't know, on the fence, or even close to being on the fence about this game, you should probably just wait. It's an alpha. It'll eventually come out. I'm sure it's a good enough game. There's enough quality in the right places that it's, uh, it's one they'll continue working on. But it may not be worth buying until they have continued working on it. Kevin, are you liking your new job? Just met Bonnie. I'm reserving judgment. That's all I'll say. <laughs> wow. Steph seems really cool, though. It seems like a lot of people like Steph. I have so much energy right now, I feel like I can take on the world! Okay, our residence is up. I haven't put a fire extinguisher in this residence. I think I may refrain from putting fire extinguishers up over here, because the fire would have to travel from this room into this room. Is that right? Is that good logic? Maybe the fire would go through the wall. Could the fire go through the wall? I feel like that's a possibility. Maybe I need to be careful here. Um, I think I'll, I'll reserve... I'll reserve placing stuff for the time being. Let's go ahead and get the beds down. Let's leave the fire extinguishers out for now. And let's keep a good eye on the condition here. We do not have enough technicians to keep everything repaired here, so we have to do a very proactive demolishing and reconstructing whenever our conditions get low. Our conditions don't look bad, though, right now. In fact, it, it looks like one technician is keeping up so well that I feel like I should put another technician on duty just because it seems like that that goal, that milestone is within reach being able to keep my base repaired I don't know I'm not sure that also seems a bit risky I guess we do have three star technicians and Kevin's just bartending right now let's take him back to technician duty and take Bonnie back over to bartending uh, no, I said Okay, yeah, that's right. I gotta switch them around to keep the three stars on three star tasks. We'll put Katrina on technician duty. I've got three builders. I don't necessarily know that I need that, but they're not they're not necessarily good at a lot else. Uh, two bartenders? Does that make sense? Can we have two bartenders? Does that double the bar's effect? Or do I need a second bar for the second bartender? I'm feeling good about everything about my capacity. My oxygen capacity is fine. I could very easily add on another oxygen recycler. My bed capacity is looking beautiful. I don't have a huge bank of matter, but I've got enough that I could respond to something if I needed to. And, uh, successful growth? Guys, check that out. I like it. We're continuing on. I would really love to get some more space debris in here. A piece of derelict space debris that I could uh, potentially go explore. I probably wouldn't be hasty about it. I'm really scared of those. I feel like that's like the most difficult content right now because I've faced and beaten a few raiders. I have not faced and beaten alien infested space debris. Uh, hopefully we'll get some of that in the next episode. That's going to be it for this episode of Space Space Guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.